Hi guys, this is the Reek and Cook. Uh, I'm going to attempt to try and give you the 101 on how I make rice. Uh, first, what I do is I I get a little bake, I get some bacon and, and cut it up in very small pieces and try to fry that along with olive oil and achote. What I do is I put achote seeds in this olive oil, let it sit for a few days, and it'll turn this all red. And that's the, what you want. You want that flavor and you want that color in your, in your rice. So that's what I attempt to, to uh, fry my vegetables and all my ingredients in. First you get get it nice and get your skillet nice and hot where it'll start to fry your bacon. But you of course you don't want to fry the bacon to where you know you want it for breakfast. You just want to kind of fry it and get it a little soft. Then you add your other vegetables such as your bell pepper, your uh, celery. That's I put celery in mine of course now you don't have to in yours but um, it, it gives it a little different flavor. You get, since those are the harder vegetables, you let them kind of saute a little bit and get them nice and uh, nice and brown, not brown, but I'm sorry, a little softer. Just get them a little cooking so that they're soft to blend with everything else. And also you, you keep that flavor in there, as you see. That flavor is the key ingredient. There's all that achote. And all of these vegetables make such a, you ever watch that movie Ratatouille? Boy, I'll tell you, when you start to taste this rice like this, it gives you that same feeling. You, you taste all the different ingredients in your, in your bite. And uh, I promise you, you will. Once you've got that kind of going, you, you add your cilantro. Now, what I do is I take my cilantro and I put it in a, in a beef broth and freeze it so it lasts a lot longer for me. This will last probably two two months, if that if that long. But I don't. Of course, as you see, I cook almost every day. Remember, I'm a quarantine guy. That's why you're not seeing me because I look like a gorilla, but I act like a chef. Anyway, so you put the uh, cilantro in there. Let that kind of cook with that. Also, believe it or not, I add a little basil and parsley. And again, I take my vegetables and, and freeze them in either beef broth or a, uh, or a um, chicken broth. And it, it'll last you a whole lot longer. The water's going to dissipate, so it's not going to hurt anything. And you get that going a little bit. You see everything's kind of blending together. And you got to keep on stirring it because, of course, you're doing this on a kind of a high heat. Okay, so uh, you want it to, to sort of like... Um, like a wok, if you will. You're you're cooking like sort of like the Asian cooking. Uh, so just just try to keep on moving it so it doesn't doesn't start to stick on you. And then once these harder ones are uh, are cooked, then you you can throw in the softer ones, such as your onions, your garlic. And don't worry about my fingers because you know what? I'll be the only one eating this and I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it, I promise you. Your capers. And your olives. Yeah, baby. Woo! Baby, turn it up a notch. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Now you see all of that right here? That's awesome. Listen, while this is all cooking, you've already rinsed out your rice. I rinse it so it gets out all the starch. And let it sit in the water while you're sitting here cooking all this. Because while this is all heating up here, that water is getting that rice a little softer for you. So when it cooks, it's going to cook real fine. And it's going it's to actually, you're going to have a different taste and a different texture on this type of rice that we cook. Uh, it's not as soft as, as most rices that you see here in Texas. Uh, sort of like that Tex-Mex rice. This is not Tex-Mex by no means. This is all Boricua, as they say. Uh, so you got this cooking. As you can see, it's all kind of blended together. Yes, sir. -y. And you know what? Well, as you're cooking here, you can still add a little more achote to your to your. Uh, this is the achote that I get out of H E B or whatever grocery store that you live in. Uh, it's great achote. You you add this to kind of once you start losing that that color, you want to get it back and. I add two, sometimes three packages to a, to a meal. It does not hurt it, I promise. You can't over choke in this, this rice. It really comes out right. Anyway, you got this cooking. 
Looks like everything is blending just fine here. Okay. Now I remove it from the, from the fire for just a minute while I get the rice. I drain out the rice, as you can hear me in the background, sure, but... So you drain out all the water on the rice, as you can see. And you add that to the, to the mix. And bam! You turn it up a notch one more time. Yes sir, Bob. This is rice like none other. You get that all blended together. And as you can see, you're getting the color into the rice. But me, I like a little bit more color. So I add a little bit more chote. Like I said, you can't over a chote in this meal. And I'll add another one just to get it a little blended there. A little more, a little more flavor. Now, I've added the chote. And then I add about a sprinkle of uh, red pepper. Not too much, about a quarter teaspoon. About a half, uh, maybe a teaspoon of, um, of oregano. And a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, no, I'm sorry, paprika. And just a tab of Italian, because you know what? The Italians almost have the same flavor as we do. You add about a quarter teaspoon of, uh, of Italian. Get that all mixing still. Again, you got to keep on stirring it because you, you're on high heat here. So you want to keep on stirring. And get that going. Once you kind of um, get the rice where it's a little drier, and and um, that's when you're, you're about ready to put in the, the chicken broth. As you can see, it's kind of it's, it's getting pretty dry. It's getting nice and you want to get a lot of that steam out of there and get a lot of that moisture out of there is what you want to get. So just keep on stirring it until it gets so it's moving around kind of dry almost. Boy, that's looking good already. Can't you see the flavor in all of this? Okay, now you add your chicken broth. And you have to add enough chicken broth to where it comes just above the rice. So I didn't quite put enough in there, but I'll put some more in there. Just above the rice. It's actually almost uh, two cups for every cup of rice is what you put in there. So you could add a little bit more of it. So you're supposed to be just above the rice. Then you bring it to a boil. Okay. As you're stirring it around, you bring it to a boil. And you can even add a little more rice because it seems like it's just above the rice. I mean, a little more chicken broth. It's just above the rice. So once you bring this to a boil, <clears throat> you lower it to a uh, medium to low. And then let it just cook, covered, for about 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll show you the outcome once it's finished. Thanks for watching. Part 1. Part two, in case you, when you open it, look how delicious that looks. But you know what, sometimes it seems a lot faster than you want it to. So you could actually take a paper bag, which I'll show you a picture of what I'm doing here. But you take this bag and wet it and put it on top of the rice. And what that'll do, it'll start to steam your rice from the top. So it cooks it very evenly. And the last uh, five minutes or so of, of the cooking time, that's what I do to uh, really secure my rice to where it comes out just the way I want it to come out. I'll show you the finished product in just a minute. Hi folks, it's time to reveal the rice. Let's see how it came out. It is perfect. 
Oh, thank you, Lord. And that's 101 on Puerto Rican rice.